Hey guys, it's Nathan from the Kentucky Cycling YouTube channel. We are in Nicholas County this morning outside of Carlisle, Kentucky in Pleasant Valley where we're going to do a mixed surface gravel ride. Those of you who have seen our gravel ride series before know that WMAs or wildlife management areas are often areas that hold gravel. So what put this area on our radar was the existence of the clay WMA and although we are not going to ride directly inside the WMA because it would be mostly a lot of out and back. There is some gravel there so you could actually pick up some additional mileage. But we're actually going to ride on the back side of the WMA along the Licking Valley River and a Creek as well. So looking forward to it. Just over a mile into our ride, the gravel began with a punch. Fleming Creek Road throws a short hill with a 9% grade at you almost immediately. Then you get a very short reprieve before starting up a much longer climb with a grade that reaches up to a 17% incline, which for a rural gravel road is quite a lot. And so I quickly found myself pushing my bike up a steep hill, a theme that would get repeated a lot on this ride. My original plan for this ride was for us to do about an 18 and a half mile figure eight. However, by the time we were about six miles in, I knew I was already ready to label this ride as an adventure ride and turn it into a loop as the technical terrain just kept coming. So much so that Lucas asked at one point if we chose the wrong bikes for this ride, suggesting that we might have been better off and happier with mountain bikes with some suspension. Perhaps if we did, we might have been able to make use of some of the momentum from the downhills on the climbs, which was something that I was not able to do.
reminders. Yep. This is pretty fast moving water. <laughs> oh. One thing we often run into when exploring rural areas that we haven't ridden in before is map inconsistencies. For example, as soon as you cross the river, the Kentucky DOT map shows the road name changing from T-Run Road to Hammonds Road, but Ride with GPS shows the name as T-Run Road. And even worse is that Ride with GPS Google Maps will sometimes show roads connecting that don't. On this ride, the Ride with GPS map showed two roads connecting that were actually separated by the Licking River. Jacob and Lucas scouted ahead to see if they could spot a place where the road picked back up on the other side of the river, which definitely upped the adventure level quite a bit. But in the end, just served to highlight a mapping issue. We make wild and crazy mistakes, so you don't have to. Obviously, this ride turned out to be a little different than we anticipated, but that's okay. A key part of any adventure is to expect the unexpected, and we certainly got that. I'll include two different links to Ride with GPS routes in the YouTube description. The first will be a map of what we actually ended up riding, which didn't include quite as much gravel as we had hoped. The second link will be to a suggested alternative route for riding in this area, which builds from our experience as well as some additional pouring over maps to make for a loop that's still plenty high on adventure with a little more gravel and one we think will make for a little better riding experience. As always, we hope you found this content useful. If you did, please like the video and consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks.